What's up everybody? Three minute Friday. For short videos like this, maximum information in the shortest amount of time. Let's get this done. Today we talk about brace height and how to adjust. First of all, what is the brace height when you string your bow? Yep. The brace height is the distance from the deepest part of the handle and the right angle to the string. Seven and over a half inch. So how to adjust a brace height? First of all, when you get a bow new, shoot the string first a few times because it will set, it will stretch. And then check the brace again. So at least shoot 20, 30 arrows. And then the brace height will set. And then you check it. I have not too much. So how to adjust it? I put the upper loop off and I simply untwist it. You will see that it un untwines. I simply untwine your string a little, not too much. Put it on again and check. Now I'm at seven and almost a quarter. So a little more. Untwist, 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 and check again. Seven and a quarter inches, just perfecto. So, and of course, when the bracelet is too short, you need to twine, uh, to twist the string. The string becomes shorter and the bracelet becomes bigger. But this is for the modern recurve. This is for long bows and all these bows kind of. You want to twist them, okay? Difference. The difference is in these, or I call them a horse bows again, but you know what I mean. Usually these strings are exactly made from the manufacturer that they have the proper brace height. So when you check this, they're always in the exact length. Last time it happened to me that somebody broke his string and he got another string for his bow and the string was way too long. So his brace head was then somewhere there. This one, you don't adjust twisting. So you don't want to start with the horse bow string twisted like I showed you before with a normal long or recurve bow. What you can do here to make this, to make the string shorter, tie a knot just underneath the serving there. Tie a knot. If you need to, tie two knots on both sides. This is how you shorten the string quite a bit so you can get it shorter. This one is now the right length. I don't have a longer one for this bow to show you, but you get the point. Make a knot at the ends directly under the serving. Then you shorten the string. This is the way how you do it with a horse bow. So don't start twisting the string because these bows are a little fragile. It's more tricky because they don't like to have, then they have your twist here and they don't like to have this twist in the string. And then it can happen that, you know, that they, they transform this twist into the ends of the bows, into the sears and it starts twisting and everything is not properly. So never twist the string of a horse bow. When it's too long, make a knot. When it's too short, get a new one. All the modern longbow and recurves out there, twist until you fine tune it, until you get in the, I said some bow builders say, tell you exactly it's seven and a quarter inches, then go there. And other bow builders tell you it's seven to seven and a half inches and you have a slight window. You want to play a little with it because it affects slightly uh, how you shoot your arrows. So, but stay in the frame of the brace height given by the manufacturer. Thank you very much. That was it.